For the past few years, Disney's been trying to pretend like everything is just fine when it comes to their streaming service. But in reality, Disney Plus has been bleeding money. Hundreds of millions, if not at least a billion dollars every single quarter. But now that they're actually bleeding subscribers, it's a lot harder for them to pretend that everything is okay. So as a result, they're finally taking action on this failing streaming service. And they said, hey guys, we got to remove a bunch of this stuff because quite honestly, there's a lot of stuff up on this streamer that no one's watching and it's costing us more money to have it up than it would if we just take it down. And they made a big announcement. Willow was obviously caught up in that. One of the big Lucasfilm failures that was getting removed from Disney+. Plus. But unfortunately for Disney, some people didn't like some of the things that they were going to remove from this platform, despite them admitting by putting it on this list that it's more beneficial for them to take it off than it is to leave it on. Disney, once again, because this is their company motto, identity politics, woke agenda, they decided to bend the knee to the very same people that this stuff was meant to cater to and ended up failing because of. But nevertheless, this is Disney. They've promised to listen to these marginalized voices, so that's what they had to do. Just a few days after announcing all of these major cuts, some things ended up not getting cut, including Howard. Howard documentary will remain on Disney+. Plus. List of Disney streaming removals still being finalized. And why did this happen? Why did some of these things get kept on? Well, certain people with certain pronouns in their bios and certain agendas weren't very happy that it was getting taken off. For instance, Howard Ashman, who, to his credit, is one of the people that everyone should credit with Disney's success in the late 80s and 90s. A guy who wrote the lyrics to some of the most famous songs Disney ever made, but he also happens to be gay. So when they announced that not only were they taking this off the platform, something that was failing, something that was losing money for them, they're taking it off the platform right before The Little Mermaid release and right before Pride Month. Some people had a problem with it. The blatant disrespect to Howard Ashman's legacy right before Pride Month and the premiere of the live action Little Mermaid because again, Howard Ashman was gay. So they can't do that. You, you, you're stuck in this bubble now. Disney is virtue signaled so hard they have to listen to these things. Disney Plus is removing Howard, the documentary about the man who literally saved that company, as well as the only real acknowledgement of a queer figurehead within the studio right before Pride Month. It's time for gay wrath. Days before the remake of The Little Mermaid hit cinemas and only weeks before Pride Month, Don Hahn's superb documentary on lyricist, playwright, Disney legend, LGBTQ icon Howard Ashman will be ripped from Disney+. Plus. Well, they decided to put that on. What else, though? Marvel's Empower saved from Disney's removal. Something that is failing. Something that nobody wanted. We talked about when this trailer came out, it got ratioed to hell. A bunch of female superheroes talking about, oh my gosh, it's so good to be able to be a part of Marvel, part of the MCU. Literally an MCU documentary that nobody watched, that was failing. That gets saved because of course it did. What about this? A spark story saved from Disney removal. Something that was failing. Something that no one watched. Something that's costing Disney money just to keep on the platform. But... It has, it has a new generation of writers that are telling stories from the perspective of black characters or gay characters or minority characters. So that has to say, you see what I'm talking about. This is Disney's problem. Disney is admitting that these things are failing. Disney's admitting that they're trying to cut costs. They're trying to get their costs under control. And this is a way for them to do it. Disney Plus losing a billion dollars every quarter. We have to take some of these things down. We have to do this to save money except for these things, because these failures that a couple people in the woke mafia really want to watch still, even though clearly it's costing them money to keep it up, we're going to leave those up because you screamed and bitched and moaned loud enough. Not because they'll make money from it, not because it'll be a success, but because that's the place that Disney has put themselves. What a fucking joke. If Disney was actually focused more on creating quality entertainment for the masses instead of catering to these vast, tiny minorities of people... Maybe they wouldn't be in the position where they're at. Maybe their stock wouldn't be at a terrible place right now. Maybe they wouldn't be losing billions of dollars on Disney+. Plus. Maybe they wouldn't have all these disappointments in the box office. Maybe they wouldn't be losing ground to Universal when it comes to the theme parks. But here they are. They're continuing to show that they're not going to change. This is what Disney is at this point. No longer family-friendly entertainment, but will cater to the woke mob, the LGBTQ mafia, at, a, at the snap of a finger. Even if it's something that costs them money, this is what they're willing to do all because of identity politics and to push their agenda. Let me know your thoughts in the comments section below. Smash a like button, subscribe to the channel, ring the bell for notifications, share this video out there, and I'll talk to you later.